Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about how to perform feature selection using recursive feature elimination. So using uh, RFE, uh, we are going to uh, do the similar operation like we have done in the uh, previous videos. So for this, I'm gonna use this uh, data. So I already uh, done this in the previous video. I'm gonna use this uh, loan prediction uh, data. All of them are category but that doesn't matter if you perform all the pre-processing means you will be getting all these uh, um, numerical uh, columns in order to feed it into the model so for this i'm gonna import uh, two things so from sklearn dot feature selection import rfe so there is RFE uh, CV also, you can also uh, include that if you want to perform uh, cross validation uh, in that, but I'm gonna go with uh, default uh, RFE. And uh, apart from that, from sklearn.tree import decision tree classifier. So you have to use some estimator. So for this, I'm gonna use uh, decision tree uh, classifier. You can also change it to uh, some other uh, ensemble models like uh, random forest or XG boost. It doesn't matter. Now, after you have done this, uh, we have to define the input and output split. So I'll just say input split X equals DF dot drop. I think it's already available. I'll just copy and paste this quickly. Okay, now that is done. Next, uh, we have to initialize the RFE. So RFE equals RFE of, here you have to pass the estimator. So estimator is decision tree classifier. And uh, you can also pass uh, how many features you want to select from this. I'm gonna say three. So that will be N features to select. I'll specify it as uh, three because uh, we already know uh, we have like three important attributes. Let's see uh, whether it's getting the three important attributes as in the G square. Now, after we have done, I'll say RFE dot fit X comma Y. Run this. Okay, now it's been done. Now we have to uh, display a few things. I will say for i comma column in zip in the zip i will say range of x dot shape of one so this will uh, give you the number of columns based on the number of columns i am just uh, getting the range and after that uh, i also need the columns so i will say x dot columns just to get the column names now I will print the column name first. So print, I can go like this, uh, inside a string, percentage, and uh, here I will pass the variables. So first I will display the column. So here I will display the column. And after that I will say selected equals I will display whether it is true or false. And after that, I will also display the rank of that particular column. Okay. Now here I will pass the column. That is uh, the column name and RFE dot support, support of I. So here uh, you will be getting whether the uh, column is chosen or not. And RFE dot ranking here i will display the rank okay let's run this okay i think uh, i will just use a different formatting here i'll just pass the uh, i'll use itself okay remove everything now let's run this Okay, now you can uh, clearly see it. So gender, it's not selected. So the rank is four, married, 
is also not selected rank is 5 dependence is also not selected rank is 3 and uh, education so education is selected so it's true and the rank is 1 self employed it's not selected so rank is 2 and uh, credit history rank 1 selected property area is selected with uh, rank 1 so as you can see all the rank number which are 1 have been selected so that is education credit history property area in the chi square i think uh, we have got um, credit history education married or uh, credit history education married property area so i think education it's done but married it's not uh, chosen i don't know why uh, but it's having rank number five it's not uh, that much uh, uh, important i think based on the estimator it's changing the um, uh, feature importance but we have we can see uh, we got the two important features that is credit history and uh, education so those two are rank number one and property area was also uh, in the border as i said uh, before it's in the border so that is also fine you can also change the estimator uh, to a different uh, classifier and check whether it is uh, giving the same results or not so that's how you can use uh, recursive feature uh, elimination and this will also give you um, a list of features with the corresponding ranking so you can uh, select the top uh, uh, three or uh, four features from the data set and use it for your training and that's pretty much it guys uh, uh, i think uh, we have covered uh, most of the feature selection uh, methods each one performs uh, very well uh, for that corresponding scenario as i said correlation matrix is good for uh, uh, continuous variables and uh, chi square is good for uh, categorical variables and uh, here uh, rfe is uh, better if you are dealing with uh, uh, any kind of uh, estimator like any kind of uh, algorithm if you are using and uh, predicting the features means uh, rfe is uh, much better and uh, you can also use uh, rfe cv if you want to do some cross validation and uh, select the features uh, so that is also possible for you and apart from this, uh, you may have other uh, features like forward selection, backward selection, select k best uh, uh, selection. There are so many other things that are available if you just uh, see it in the feature selection. So here you can see some of the uh, features. So G square is there, RFE is there, RFE C, select from model, select k best, select percentile. So like this, uh, you have uh, different uh, uh, methods in order to do the feature selection. So try to explore that and uh, use it accordingly uh, for your corresponding scenario. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is how you can uh, perform uh, feature selection using various methods. Apart from that, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for uh, more videos like this. Stay tuned for the next video.